Wake up, wake up, wake up, my people. To the descendants of the slave trade, we are not living. Whoa, excuse me. To the descendants of the slave trade, if you are not living with the understanding of the Most High's words, stop saying you are blessed and highly favored. Man, you know, you look at these brothers and them brothers you bump into in the streets. Oh, brother, I'm blessed and highly favored. Not understanding the Most High's words at all. Not understanding that we are living in the land of captivity where our foreparents were stolen and became slaves. We have not went home. There's no way that we could be blessed and highly favored living under this captivity where we're being governed by the same people that enslaved our foreparents. There's no way. There's no way. But let's God, let God do the talking. Romans 3 and 4. God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou as mightest be justified in thou saying, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Wake up, my people. Now we will see how the Most High will bless you if you fear him. Psalms 3, 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord you his saints, and there is no want to them that fear him. We wouldn't even want anything. We wouldn't be desiring anything. We just got to come back and fear our God so he will come and receive us. Wake up, my people. If you are not keeping the most high laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, you don't even know. First John 2, 3 through 4. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that say I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. I ain't making this up. This is in the New Testament. So I'm not making this up. Wake up, my people. If the world is teaching the laws are done away with, so tell me, how do you show the most high you love him? How do you even show him that you love him? We can't go outside. I guess we make hearts with our hands. You know, how do we show the most how we love him? 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. I mean, this simple, plain. I mean, I'm not making this up. This is what the most high wrote, had written down for us to know how to come back to him. Wake up, children of Israel, descendants of the slave trade. James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberty and a bread not, and it shall be given him. Yes, I mean, nothing special, no more special about them, brother, other than they are Israelites now. And to be blessed by the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are going to be an Israelite. If you're going to be used, you are going to be an Israelite. Now, you can use any nation if he chooses. 
But you're going to be fair now. Wake up, my people. If you are ready to receive the knowledge, just ask the Most High and he will give it to you. But you have to go back like a newborn babe, reading his words with brand new eyes. You got to go back as if you reading it for the first time. You got to wipe out what you have learned before and allow the most high to just show you his word. Just show you his words and watch how he show them to you. Watch how he show them to you. Isaiah 28, 9 and 12. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, line a little here, line upon line, here a little and there a little. For with a standing lips and another tongue will he speak to his people, to this people, excuse me. For with a standing lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. I mean, we're bringing it to you. We're telling you to come back like babes. Come back to your God. Learn the Bible the way it was supposed to be learned. Let's hear. Wake up, my people. Let's hear what the saints should be reading to the descendants of the slave trade. Luke 4, we're going to be reading 17 through 19. And there were delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering a sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. We got to get prepared, descendants of the slave trade. He's coming back for us. Our time is up for being up under this bondage. So we don't know the day nor the hour, but we know every day we are one day closer. It's time to go back home. Wake up, my people. To the descendants of the slave trade, we are the Israelites. We are still living in the land that our ancestors became slaves. Wow. Deuteronomy 28, a great place to start reading. Shalom to the Israelites. Somewhere it's gonna be a 
Wake up, my people. If you don't know your nationality, you don't know your purpose. If you don't know your purpose, it's impossible to feel the things in life that you are put here to accomplish. Nigger, color, African-American, black, no, we are the Israelites. I'm going to be reading Matthews 26, 7 through 13. Matthews 26, 7 through 13. Matthews 26 and 7. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. Matthews 26 and 8. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation saying, to what purpose is this waste? Matthew 26 and 9. For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. Matthew 26 and 10. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye this woman? For she have wrapped a good work upon me. Matthews 26 and 11. For you have the poor always with you, but me you have not always. Matthews 26 and 12. For in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Matthews 26 and 13. Very I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman have done be told for a memorial of her. Wake up, my people. Come back to the Most High the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to the descendants of the slave trade, we are the Israelites. We are still living in the land that our ancestors became slaves. Wow. Deuteronomy 28, a great place to start reading. With that, we say hallelujah.